Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. Today's class we are going to discuss source transformation. So I am going to consider a voltage source here. Let the voltage be Vs, that is V source. I have a resistor connected in parallel, sorry, in series with the voltage source. So this is my this is my network. I have two points A and B. The voltage across these points is Vx and the current which is flowing to the point A is I. So I can convert this voltage source. So this is a voltage source, right? So you can convert this voltage source to a current source. So I can convert this to a current source by taking a resistor I mean the same resistor is connected in parallel with the source so you can represent this as IS now the same resistor is connected in parallel and a remaining network is the same again I am going to consider two points A and B the voltage drop across between these points is Vx and current is the same. So from this it is clear that the voltage across the points and also the current entering the point A won't change. That is the resultant voltage and current won't change. But the change is in the sources and the connection of the resistor. So here this is the voltage source and it is being changed to the current source. And the series connection of the resistor is changed to the parallel connection. So the same resistor can be connected in parallel. So this is how you can convert a voltage source to a current source. Similarly, using the same way you can convert a current source. If you have a current source like this, you can convert it into a voltage source like this. So this is called the source transformation. We can write the equation for Vx from the from this uh, network that is Vx equal to what is Vx? Vx is equal to Vs minus that is the source voltage minus the voltage drop across this resistor that is I into R. Okay, so this is Vx from the first network. I'm going to mark it as equation number one. Similarly, I'm going to write the equation for Vx from the second network. Vx. What is Vx? Vx is nothing but the voltage drop across this resistor. So I have considered the current flowing through this resistor as IR here. So it is IR into the resistor value. Now what is IR? IR equal to what is the current here? IR equal to so the current is coming from this source. Some current flows through this resistor and remaining is going to the point A. So IR equal to IS minus I. Right. So I can write it as IS minus I into R. So expand the bracket. You can write it as IS into R minus I into R. So this is your second VX. Mark this as equation number 2. Now I am going to equate equation number 1 and 2. So I am going to write about Vs minus IR equal to, since the LHS is same, you can equate the RHS. Is into R minus I into R. So this minus IR and this minus IR will get cancelled. What is the remaining? Vs equal to Is into R. So this is the relation between the voltage source and the current source. So if you are going to convert a voltage source to a current source, so this is the relation. Again, you can also write Is equal to Vs by R. So if you want to convert a voltage source to current source, so you have to use this equation Vs by R will be the 
the value of the current source. Now, if you have a current source and you want to convert to voltage source, then this is the equation. Vs is the Vs is equal to Is into R. So the same resistor is connected in series and parallel in both cases. Now let's do a question on source transformation. So the question is to find the voltage across this current source. So let this voltage be Vx. So the question is to find what is the value of Vx. So we will do this using source transformation. So we have discussed that the voltage source can be converted to current source using the equation Is equal to Vs by R and similarly the current source can be converted to voltage source using the equation Vs equal to Is into R. So let's do. So for solving this first I am going to consider this much portion and I am going to convert this to a voltage source sorry so this is a voltage source i'm going to convert this to a current source so what is the value of my current source so the equation is is equal to vs by r so here vs is 2 2 volt by r is 3 so 2 by 3 ampere so 2 by 3 a is the value of the replaced current source that is if you replace this with the current source the value of that current source is 2 by 3 ampere and this resistor will come in parallel so i'm going to replace this uh, figure with the current source and the parallel resistor. so here i have uh, changed the uh, voltage source to current source and the value is 2 by 3 ampere and the resistor will come in parallel now these two resistors are in parallel so what is the resultant resistance value if two resistors are connected in parallel? So R is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. In this case, it is 6 into 3 by 9. So 3 and 2. So the resist resistance resultant value is 2 ohm. So I'll replace these two resistors with a 2 ohm resistor. Now, now you have a current source and a resistor in, uh, connected in parallel. So this can be converted to a voltage source connected in series with the same resistor by source transformation. So I am going to do it. So all these things we are doing to simplify the network. And finally, we can find the resultant voltage across this current source. So here, you have to convert this current source to a voltage source. So Vs equal to Is into R. Is is 2 by 3 into R is 2. So you got 4 by 3. So this current source can be replaced by a 4 by 3 volt voltage source. So remove this and draw a voltage source here. The value is 4 by 3 volt and the same resistor will come in series. We are drawing a resistor in series. The value of the resistor is nothing but 2. Now you have this voltage source and this voltage source you have. And these two voltage sources are connected in series and you can combine these two voltage sources. What will be the resultant voltage? It is nothing but 4 by 3 plus 4. That is 4 plus 12 by 3 is equal to 16 by 3. So I am going to remove this voltage source and here the resultant value will change as 16 by 3. Now you can remove all this. Okay. Now you have a voltage source again connected with a resistor in series. Now convert this to a current source connected with a resistor in parallel. What is the value of the current source? I is equal to Vs by R equal to 16 by 3 by 2. That is 16 by 3 into 1 by 2 is 8 by 3. And so I am going to replace it with a. Now I have replace the voltage source with the current source and the resistor connecting in parallel. 
So again you have two resistors in parallel. So you can replace this with a single resistor by finding the equivalent resistance. So R is equal to here the two resistors are in parallel. So 6 into 2 by 6 plus 2 is 8. So 6 plus 2. That is 6 into 2 by 8 equal to here 4 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 ohm. Now you can remove these two resistors and replace these two resistors with the single resistor. Now you have reduced the network to three elements. There are two current sources and single resistor. You have to find the voltage across this current source that is Vx. The voltage across this current source is nothing but same as the voltage across this resistor. So you have to find the voltage across this resistor. The equation for voltage is V equal to I into R. So I is the current flowing through this resistor and R is 3 by 2 ohms. So what is I here? So these current sources, two current sources are in opposite direction. So I is the resultant current flowing through this resistor and I is equal to so since these two current sources are in opposite direction at the values of the two current sources that is I equal to 1 minus 8 by 3 that is 3 minus 8 by 3 equal to minus 5 by 3 amp. So I value is minus 5 by 3 into R is 3 by 2. So you can cancel these two threes. So the resultant value is minus 5 by 2 that is minus 2.5 volt. So this is the voltage across this resistor. So that is equivalent to the voltage across the current source. So you got your value Vx equal to Vx equal to minus 2.5 volt. So this is how you can use source transformation to do a problem or to simplify a network. So I really hope you understood what is source transformation. If yes, please like and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.